Hi everyone, this is Ambroise from Motoplaisir Motorcycle Rental in Geneva. We've been offering the BMW Motorrad Connected Ride Cradle for about a year now. So in this video, I will be able to give you a feedback using it. So we've been offering the BMW Motorrad Connected Cradle for more than a year now. Most of our customers are very happy with the, with the device. It's very handy and it's great to be able to use your phone with the BMW app, which is uh, very well designed with a lot of features that can be used right from the controls of the bike. So overall, the, the feedback is very good, but there are four issues we have to talk about. So the first issue is about how the cradle itself is designed, the way it holds the phone. Uh, as you can see, these, this part, the lower part, and this upper one are not very, very wide, so it does not block the view over the screen. The thing is that if your case is too wide, the cradle just holds the case and sometimes the phone can pop off the case and then you drop your phone, which is of course very bad. So make sure you set the, um, the cradle properly to the size of your phone and I suggest you take off the case to make sure everything is, stays in place. Of course, uh, using uh, your pricey phone without any protective case uh, can be a problem, I understand that. So maybe you should dedicate an older device to be used on your motorcycle. Uh, so if you drop your phone without protective case, it's not a big deal. The, the app does not require the latest version of a, of a phone to run smoothly. So this is an iPhone 10, iPhone X. So maybe you should dedicate an older phone to this application. So you keep your current phone, your up-to-date phone for the pictures, for taking uh, uh, videos and taking your phone calls. That will be probably uh, much more convenient. The second issue is about the heat. With the direct sunlight in a very bright environment, the brightness of the screen will be boosted by the phone, which increases the heat. And if your phone is charging wirelessly, it's even more uh, hot. This can overheat your phone, and once you have an overheated phone, of course, you lose the navigation. The only way to get the navigation back is to stop, put your phone in the shade or in your coolest pocket, if possible. This is, uh, this is an issue. Our customers have not been really complaining about that. We are in the Geneva area. People come here to ride up in the mountains, so the the temperatures can be cooler than uh, elsewhere, or more south in France or, um, or els elsewhere in the world. Um, this is something we, we cannot really do anything about. This is the way the phones are designed. When they are too hot, they just stop working. The third issue is about the broken lower part here. Sometime this, the mechanism gets locked. To prevent this, I suggest you put a little bit of oil in these areas so it moves freely, like this one. Uh, as you can notice on this one on the bike, it's not as smooth. And when it gets stuck, customer, the customer pulls on it and it's, and it's broken. Uh, so this is, of course, a problem. Don't throw, don't throw away your device. 
There is a repair kit that is about 15 or 20 euros. And uh, within a few minutes, undoing the screws here, you can replace the broken part. But uh, make sure your, um, your dealer knows this part number so they don't sell you the, a new device, which is a bit expensive, of course. The fourth issue is about the vibrations that are transmitted from the bike to your phone, especially if your phone has an image stabilization that is mechanical. As the mount is mounted very stiff on the bike, there is no rubber at all to, to stop the vibrations. This can shake your phone uh, very badly. A lot of vibrations are transmitted to the phone. For instance, to talk about Apple devices, their support web page states that for the bigger displacement bikes, uh, whatever they say when, when they talk about motorcycles, um, can damage the image stabilization of the phone because of the vibrations. So again, if you can dedicate an older phone to this uh, use, that is probably better. Our previous video about uh, the, the BMW Motorrad Cradle has been uh, successful and a lot of viewers has asked uh, some questions. Thanks a lot, by the way, for, for watching this video. I'm going to try and answer a few questions so a lot of people have asked, uh, can I use the BMW Cradle with Google Maps? Yes, of course, you can, you can use it, as you can see. Uh, same question with Waze. Of course, no problem. You can use Waze with the BMW Motorrad Connected Cradle. Of course, you can use Google Maps with the BMW Motorrad Connected Cradle, but you lose the ability to control the app with the controls of the bike, which is the, one of the main features of this BMW Motorrad Cradle. And uh, the BMW Motorrad app is way, very well designed, very well made for this use. So everything I do now, I do it with the controls of the bike. And you can display on your phone some data coming from the bike through the BMW Motorrad Cradle. Um, of, of course, this is something you cannot do with Google Maps or Waze. So not really worth buying this pricey device if you, if you want to use Google Maps. Another question is about the, is it waterproof? So yes, the, the device itself is waterproof. Of course, your phone has to be waterproof as well. Otherwise, uh, uh, it does not protect your phone from, from the water. And in case of heavy rain, a lot of water can come up between the windshield and the dashboard. And this can, uh, this can damage your phone if it's not waterproof. Another question we've been asked is, can you put your phone in portrait mode? Uh, it's in landscape mode right now. Unfortunately, it's not been designed for that. So the, the, the mount would require to be uh, modified to put it in the portrait mode. Unfortunately, the answer is no. You have to use the app in landscape mode, which can be, um, when you use the 3D view, it would be better to have the phone in portrait mode, but this, this has not been designed for that. This is it. Thanks a lot for your attention. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any other questions, of course, you can ask them in the comments below, and I will try to answer. Uh, thanks again. We hope to see you soon. Bye.